Chippewa fishermen calling on authorities to protect their livelihood as it's threatened by foreigners. Today, the angry businessmen met with the Marine Minister in hopes of bringing some sort of resolve to a long-standing issue. Shanique Miller has that story. Fishermen are continuing their crusade for help. Their issue, an industry flooded with Dominican fishermen, out fishing and often stronger than Bahamian fishermen who have every right to fish Bahamian waters. It's something government has been looking at for several months now. But now, the industry's new minister is taking it a step further. He will go to the Dominican Republic to meet with the government of that country. To ensure that they are aware of the problems we face from their nationals and seek to partner with them to educate their people into knowing what we are saying here, they are saying there, and if the government of the Dominican Republic could just educate their nationals, we believe that they will not leave home knowing that they may not come back. Now, while that's being planned, it appears the real battle is closer to home than anyone expects. Some fishermen say Defense Force Marines are intentionally not policing the waters. The fishermen told Agriculture and Marine Resources Minister V. Alfred Gray the Defense Force is steeped in corruption, oftentimes aiding the Dominicans. The, 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 I mean, the Dominicans, I call it. They'll be there four or five days, and if you see them pull out into the swan, I get the head defense force to be there that afternoon. If you see, if you see them move that afternoon, defense force could be, and they only go, all they go is go in the ocean, and when defense force maybe patrol today, they go back. You see them come right back. Yeah. Gray admitted to hearing the allegations for the first time, but he didn't brush them off. In fact, he urged fishermen to come forward with any proof they may have. I would really hate to believe that there are members of the Defense Force who will do something like that to their country because it is the height of corruption. If there is anybody who can help us to catch one Defense Force officer, we don't need too many. We just need one to make an example because that cannot be tolerated. Certainly I know if the Commodore knows that his men are involved in anything like that, he has to take some kind of step to curve uh, that. Now, even as officials grappled with allegations of corruption by Defense Force officers, they were stunned when fingers turned toward them. According to fishermen, Department of Fisheries workers, too, are involved in a racket of their own. Listen, hear this on the radio. Hear the voice out. There are officers in my ministry That's selling I dive permits. Mr. Delaval, you hear that? One by one, fishermen told of their woes, some even involving Bahamian fishermen fighting among themselves. While I'm sparing my condos, we have guys that come in and pulling my hose, cutting up my, cutting up my dinosaurs on the bottom and stuff like that. As a man of God, but there's no police out there. That means I be, automatically I become violent. I want to discourage you fishermen from getting involved in seeking to arrest and I think I'm taking this cue from what you said. It is dangerous for you to take on a foreign boat which may have guns on it. Bahamian boats now. Bahamian boats, I don't want violence on the sea. Another issue on the table, compressor permits and granting rights to non-Bahamians. Gray says he will revisit the policy that bans foreigners who fall under special circumstances from getting one. Shanique Miller, 7S News.